I did a community post on my YouTube channel and asked how people export their videos in Premiere Pro, whether directly from Premiere Pro or using the media encoder. And here are the results. 57% choice was the Premiere Pro directly and only 43% voted in favor of the media encoder. So I decided why not test both of these. Let's find out which is the fastest way to export videos directly from the Premiere Pro or using the Adobe Media Encoder. So let's find out. So here is one sequence and some heavy effects have been applied to it like color grading, custom motion graphics and the seamless transitions. I will export this directly from the Premiere Pro first and then I will use the media encoder to export this sequence. I am using hardware encoding for the sequence instead of the software encoding. If the hardware encoding is not enabled for your system then make sure you check out this video right now on your screen or the link is in the description section below. In this video you will learn how to enable the hardware encoding for the Premiere Pro for faster rendering. And here are my hardware specs. I am using Windows 10 Pro, Intel i5-4460 CPU with 3.2 GHz processor, RAM 12 GB, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 budget graphics card and by the way my affiliates links are in the description in case you want to check them out. So let's test who wins this race. Here I am using the stopwatch to measure the time. First is the Premiere Pro. Now is the turn of media encoder. And here are the final results. And the results are astonishing. I thought Media Encoder would render the video fast. But what is this? Media Encoder just left behind by 1 minute and 24 seconds. Media Encoder took total 4 minutes and 39 seconds. And Premiere Pro took just 3 minutes and 55 seconds to render this out. Since I was not sure whether the Premiere Pro was really rendering fast, so I did this test couple of times and Premiere Pro was the fastest amongst them. So the clear winner is Premiere Pro here, applaud for the Premiere Pro. Then the question arises, why do we have the media encoder, a standalone application just for the rendering purpose? And the answer is, media encoder is good for rendering multiple files or multiple projects. When you have to export multiple files or multiple sequences then let them encode to the media encoder and it would encode from there. Media encoder is also good for rendering proxies. If you have a 4K sequence and you are working on a 4K footage and your PC system is not capable of handling 4K then you need to use the proxies and here the media encoder helps you to render out the proxies for you. And if you are not aware about the proxies, let me tell you that proxies is simply a smaller version of your 4K footages or the large videos and you can just edit with the smaller versions and then later on sync with your original videos. That's where the media encoder helps. Media encoder is also very helpful for auto encoding. If you specify a folder in media encoder, then whenever you add new files, media encoder would automatically render those files to your desired format so that you can work more efficiently. So use the Premiere Pro when you have to export just one sequence. But if you have to render out multiple sequences or multiple projects, in that case the media encoder is best. And now let me tell you some tips which would help you decrease the rendering time by 20%. Number one, never ever export 
soon after you finish your editing. At that time, there is lots of load on your system and your PC resources are almost used. So after finishing editing, just restart your PC and then export the videos. Number two, make sure no other application is running in the background while you export the videos. That way you can speed up the rendering process. Number three, use hardware encoding in Premiere Pro. So if hardware encoding is not enabled for your system, make sure you check out my video. The link is in the description section below where you can utilize the GPU power of your system to export the videos in less time. Number four, take a walk outside or to another room. That way your eyes will have some screen break. Wait a minute, would that help you to render faster? Obviously not. But that way you will feel relaxed and be more efficient. And if you have any tips to share, please do let me know in the comment section below. What do you think about this video? Leave that in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to learn how to add the cool titles and typography to your videos, make sure you check out this video right now on your screen or the link is in the description section below. So thank you so much. Bye-bye. See you in the next video. Till then, keep shooting and unleash the creative in you. Bye-bye.